Let's see, we won the roll. Playing some Grinzo Commander. All right, seems very fitting. Yeah, I'll keep. A super aggressive. I love this card. Fits so well with Grinzo. You uh, pay three and then reveal the uh, top card of your library and it gets plus X where it's, it's converted mana cost and you put it on the bottom. So you can feed that, which also feeds Grinzo. So it's a very fun card in this deck. Let's get, let's get this tap down. Grab the uh, Blood Crypt. Oh crap, I should have paid two. Darn it. Misplay. I always forget you can, you can get Grinzo out on two. Or at least most of the, all the creatures in this deck besides one. That, like, anti-goblin. They're all, um, two or less. So let's get, yeah, man, that threw me off my game. Mistakes are part of the game. Yeah, I could have put three, but yeah, probably should. I mean, even if he bolts it, it's still gonna be. It'll still kill him. So, I guess he's stuck on land. Get Ashot's altar out. Oh, okay. It's not very nice. I didn't even get a chance to use it. Jerk. Could just get <laughs> Arms Dealer out and just take a wild gamble. I feel that's very Goblin. Goblin S is just taking a wild shot at the bottom. I have a lot of scry cards or stuff that puts cards on the bottom, but it's always fun just to kind of just blind draw. Let's see. Let's see if we hit anything. Bummer. Okay. Grinzo's beating you with his big ass key. Better watch out, dude. You've got a big axe. Watch out. Grinzo's got a big ass key. Yeah, I like like a meta. I don't, I don't like seeing people uh, mana screwed. It's not fun when they're just sitting there. Then again, you know, you could have mulliganed. But it's always fun if they have a good mana base. I guess we get Goblin Machinist out next. For two basic lands, put in your hand. Yeah, this, this commander deck, it goes... It can go off pretty quick. <laughs> Or some of the ones I've played against. Okay. I like that better. We can still get mud butt now. Yeah, let's do that. This is one of my favorite goblin cards. I don't know why, I just love it. It's very flavorful. I'll explain it here in a sec.
um, whenever he dies, it deals three damage to target creature or player. And if you look at the card art, he's got like a he's carrying a torch. He's got a big old bucket of tar on his head, and I don't know. <laughs> I just love that. I love good. Uh, what is it? Synergy? Not synergy. What word am I thinking of? Flavor. I love good flavor cards. Flavored cards. That's always nice. I like the old school goblin cards too. They're always so cartoony and just just fits it so well. Uh oh. Let's see. Okay, I think I'm gonna sack a goblin. I should target countryside. Pay two. Deals four. Then three to him. <laughs> I just love my arms dealer killing mud button. Hey, appreciate it, buddy. You did your job. And then we have enough for Goblin Machinists. Yeah, this card is really fun to play with. And I just love, like, mentally, like, or I love envisioning this big goblin machine just hitting the battlefield, just, just so loud, noisy, needing oil in so many places. Thundermaw. He held him back too, so let's see. Who are we gonna give Scry to? Probably not gonna swing at him, so I'll equip him. Hit Goblin Machinist for three. I feel like I'm in like Vegas, like hitting the gambling table. Come on, give me some good. But then that. And they have Mountain Walk, so we can get in. Oh crap, duh. Forgot. I don't play enough goblins to remember that other goblins have mountain walk. Oh well. I put them in a pickle. Hopefully, we can just start turning out goblins like crazy. Caller of the Beast. We'll call your beast out. We've got a bunch of goblins to fight your beast. Did he hit on any of that? Oh, he hit on one, I guess. So we just hit on one. Hit of Goblin Machinist. Yeah, 
and let's go we could sack two goblins let's just get adaptive down to pass the turn we're not in any hurry Not enough to kill. Yeah, we'll just pass the turn. Man, I wish I wasn't as long with Goblin King. Things would have been a little bit better. But uh, that's what magic's about. You make mistakes and learn from your mistakes. The whole Thero set, man, like, they kind of really turned me off on magic. I don't I guess I was, had expected a lot more than what it was, but it just, like, the limited environment, like, as far as drafting and sealed stuff, it just, I don't know, I, didn't, I wasn't a huge fan of it. It just seems like you could just piggyback all your, oh, batter skull. It was just all about just sticking all your enchantment creatures onto one big creature with flying or something like that. That's usually how most of the games I lost. That's what it got down to. So, I'm excited for the new set, the con set or whatever. I've been reading online that it might be um, like some wedge based or. I don't know. It looks fun. I'm excited. Something other than Theros. Okay, let's see. Siege Commander. Let's get him rolling. Hmm. Could take out his batter skull. I don't have enough mana to. Yeah, I do. I could sack one with him and sack one with him. Let's do that. Sack a goblin. Thank you for your service. And then we can use him. Target it. Pay two more. Sacrifice one more. Okay, got that taken care of. Now let's see. They'll all get plus one, plus one. I'll wait next turn to swing out. first couple of videos I recorded, um, I had music like lightly playing in the background. And when I uploaded my videos, the first one went through. And then, I mean, because I hate dead air, so it's just, I'm drawn to dead air. And then, uh, like, <laughs> I couldn't believe it, like, got hit with uh, copyright violations. So I was like, oh my gosh. It was just barely on in the background. So, how it, I guess their machines picked up on it, but it was still just kind of like, okay. Be nice to have music on here, but. I tried, but my videos wouldn't load up. Is this guy even still with us? And it's just figuring out what to do. I guess Grinzo and his big ass key was too much for you, huh? Hmm. Are you enraged that Grinzo used his key to defeat you, huh? Look how mad he is. He's like, oh, that stupid goblin's gonna beat us with that stupid key.
I hit uh, Kiki Jiki off the bottom. When I game, I didn't record. <laughs> that was pretty fun. So the next turn be four, three. Get a couple of machinists going. Who you put it on? Okay. We got one, two, three, four. So we've got eight times two divided by two. So we can do four points with Siege Gang. Wrong blocker, there we go. He's still gonna get the live link either way, so might as well just stop the four. Come on, let's draw something good. <laughs> Coat of arms, I love this card, man. It just makes magic super fun. I run this in my goat deck, and it just, ugh. And let's, let's see. I'm trying to think if I got him either way. Because he has one, two, three, four. So I'll be swinging in with two. So the weakest, I just need to pump. Any combination, I'll, I just need to pump him once. And that should be good. Let's see. <laughs> all right, thank you, Skirk Prospector. Skirk Prospector, I appreciate that. And let's swing all out. Unless he's got some like, oh my god, if he has fog. <laughs> Come on, get in there, Goblin Token. Okay, got everybody swinging. Everybody's coming in hot. Watch out, dude. Oh yeah, I forgot about his trigger too. This is what Goblins is about, if you've ever wondered. <laughs> oh my gosh, if he has fog. <laughs> oh, can you imagine a coat of arms at Krinko? Ooh, that'd be a beautiful board state. Looks like I've got it, unless he's got something. Oh, he's got lifelink. I forgot about that. So let's see. It'll still be 27. Uh-oh. Some shenanigans. What you got, dude? Yeah, good game. If you enjoyed the video, uh, like the video and subscribe. Thanks.